Okay, I do not have to make this video or something like that, but here's what I'm gonna have to say in this video. Well, the thing is, I've been abused by my, my parents. Per, uh, verbally, but not physically. Like, w during the time of my kid, my childhood times. And it still ain't the same thing for me, because I couldn't even stand of all the issues. And that's why I just... I, that's why I just being vulnerable to make vid videos all because of personal stops that I came from it and not to mention it just, it just hurt, always hurts me so much and always affects it even though karma won't stop them it always hits on me at all times especially of all the arguments that they always had to always win about it and I'm not proud of it to be one though they give me like goods good food good stops good everything but I never meant about everything but the disadvantages of having them is just with with utter strict discipline and some other issues that that I don't prefer to want it because they always never have to understand me that way though I always at Though I always seem to understand my parents so much during the time of their child that they're too dangerous. But doing the same thing to your parent like, I mean, to your child like that, it doesn't seem to change at all because, you know, during the time of my child, my childhood times, uh, I, w I was basically abused and verbally abused because just for discipline. But that's not how you you treat your kid like that with like with rubber objects and some and some sticks and everything and brooms that it hurt, hurts me so much it hurts a lot for things and it's completely unhealthy and to make matters worse words are more painful than sticks and stones it never be the same thing for it there's a lot of things that I could never had to to agree with it and and at the same time I don't accept their fate their fate of it I mean I don't accept their my fate though my pair I mean though my my siblings accepted it but unlike me I don't prefer to accept it the ones that it always hurts me a lot especially the especially of all the hitting of all the spanking and treating your child like that is just completely wrong for it. You know, that's because that they could never always uh, to agree to agree with them somehow. And they always have to bluntly criticizing me, thinking that I'm stupid, abnormal, and arrogant. And they stereotype me all the time that I could not even stand it. It hurts me so much that I'm about to have to commit my own life like this. And it hurts me so much. Like it's completely utter wrong that I just can't stand of it. A lot of times, a lot of times that I just couldn't ever have to agree with them. Like they don't even give a shit about me. Though my friends and my teachers agree with me of of my old backstory, but it hurts me so much. That they could never have to change at all, at all times. Of all the abuse and of all the verbal abuse that it always came from it. I don't agree with this kind of thing. They don't sound out to understand me every time. I mean, yeah. They don't somehow understand me. A lot of times that I could never ever agree with it. Because they always bluntly criticizing me along with my sister and my brother. And that's why I'm being so bipolar. Like many times. Though I talk too much. Though I talk too much. But they talk, but they talk more than that. And they don't even seem to understand me. Like many times by now. And even committing my own life. They don't even give a shit at all. They don't even give a shit on me at all for these times. But like I said, they do good things to me. But at the same time, they don't. Uh, they discipline me with the same tactic that that 
that parents should not gonna have to do do that at all like this is this is tw the 21st century already like you can't manage to do the same thing at all all spankings or things like this you can't do that at all and being angry angry at someone else and I even talk back well yeah parents are mostly stronger than than kids but they couldn't even want to understand you because you know they're too inedible to speak especially the ones that do you talk though my uh though I I only talk to my parents and my and my siblings whenever and whenever they need need help or something like that but not like the emotional way but but they actually know my personality say, stating that I don't play jokes or around or things like that no I can manage to understand jokes but I don't want but I don't want like too much of it especially the ones that did that's just like a little bit like immature or anything though I watch immature like immature dank means a lot of times of playing satire just only like a gentle one I only want like a gentle joke that they can manage to understand tend to me just like that just like uh, my my schoolmate does he they used to talk to me like that only in a good only in a good way but not in a like in a physical way either like they're like touching or hitting like that like that because the thing is I don't I don't like their personality especially that the ones they that they always treat me like this yeah and oh I've been also bullied in one of my from one of my elementary days it's really rough for me cuz I don't even insist to understand for what they always had to say and to be honest to, to be honest my experience of being bullied people doesn't understand you and I believe and I believe that of a lot of times that they trying to make fun of you to make more immature stuff that they couldn't never had to to do and they blunt and they're being a blunt to you though I can though you can still survive on you can still survive that because after all you you're not alone unless you're gonna have to to fight with Unless you're gonna have to fight something that like you're gonna need to 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 fix the bandwagon on everyone else to to make it uh, to make it understand for it or somehow and and yeah I've been also thinking about suicide too because of the because of them because of my parents because of my siblings because of my my old classmates before. It doesn't seem to change me a bit for me especially that I couldn't even stand and, and to be honest life is always complicated hypocritically uh, hypocritically and painfully and there's no per uh, there's no such thing as perfect world perfect family perfect life perfect stuff like that to just make it things right and adjustable for everything to just have to understand for the people so that I can manage to to understand them too well of course and like I said I'm hurt and sad always been depressed suffer from anxiety and even have a bipolar disorder that I even check myself up and because of them it it hurts a lot it hurts a lot of times because I'm unlikely to be like never to be loved to them only my parents but not my but not my friends but like I said they always quietly talk to me in like in a good way but opt but optimally my siblings they understand me but not that much to just never understand me a lot for it and and it's crazy that no matter how much that the pain that I always get from it the, the karma 
the karma bit, it always gets, it always hits me so much. Because that, especially when I win, especially when I lost to an argument, I lost an argument against, uh, but my parents, they always insist of like letting things win just to make the right thing from it. That they never even, they're not even right about the stuff. But sometimes they're even wrong about everything, you know, because parents are just like that, and and yeah, they're unlikely to be in the, they're unlikely different to me, along with my. Along with my siblings who are half different to me. <laughs> Just like that. Though I'm already been like so mature like at all times. And I don't, and also I forget, I don't like other people being eh, being angry for no good reason. Though I'm usually angry like at all times, especially when my family always had to be so bl being a blunt to me. And that's the reason why. Why? That I could not stand. Even making a mistake, it's even making a mistake. They're all they're also angry at. They're also very angry at me. Look at all times for me because I could not even stand, and that's why I blame in my parents and my siblings for doing things for that. And I'm bipolar, and I couldn't even survive that that thing that much. That I have no other choice but to commit. But it just making things worse because nobody even gives a shit about you. Yeah, I even, I even cuss too. Besides, I never improve. I'm special. I never even prove I'm a good person. I never even prove to me that I'm, that I'm relevant to everyone else. That I just had to treat them good things and stuff. But they always, they always had to, to do, to say bad things for to me. It hurts me so much that they even that my mom even called me an arrogant, stupid, abnormal, or, or anything that they just had to call me that way. It hurts me so much. It really hurts me so much. All the verbal views that I could not even stand, and I even follow my mom's footsteps, especially that I called my brother an idiot because of treating my own s sister like crap. And literally, she treats me like this for, for hurting her, for hurting her that she could never even understand, stand her, like a lot of times for it. It always gives me issues at all times for it. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even stand it, of all this, of all this abuse. But at the end of the day, you could, I could survive that. I could still survive that. But still, the same thing that that you don't even want it. Though I can still follow orders from my parents, but I still don't like them one bit, spe especially the ones that they do that to me all the time. Because that is just not right for them. Because it seems that it's really wrong that that they know it's wrong. Because they're really different to me, and they and any and, and even worse about it, they even think that uh, human rights is is dumb. Anything that the ones I've been supporting human rights, she thinks it's dumb, and it's so much. It's and it's so much for the contrary that I've been so, I've been through a lot of this abuse. And I couldn't even stand it. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate to, to say the least. And I'm now the victim. Then they think that I'm a publicity stunt, for for making this video out of it. Like, come on, it's making things worse for it. They even make excuses out of me being a bad person or anything like that. I never even say say that. I know my own principles. I know the knowledge of my of my mom's sayings. It's just that they're wrong about everything. But isn't wrong about everything, especially to give me good food or edit everything. But they're still wrong. 
Sorry. Sorry. It's just I'm crying because I'm dumb. And it never changed the same. And it never felt the same way, too. Tell a friend. Tell someone else that you that you've been abused at all times and that way they'll they'll call you that but for me for me I'll be I'll be the judge of that because I can't live this anymore any longer because I'm because I'm too scared for my mom for punishing me again of that same tactic again in the fate that I couldn't even encounter Stan but still, I can live with that. But with anxiety and pain would make me more healthier than that. But it never changed a bit, the same a bit. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a good person. I'm not nice. Uh, I don't admit that I'm awesome. I don't admit I'm great. I'm not, I'm not an arrogant person who just purports to. To say that I'm that I'm awesome, no. I don't say that. I don't admit that. I know I don't prefer to do that. To do that, like when I was a kid back then, because. But because of my own, because but because of my personality, and stuff like when I was being bullied, I really understand on what reason why that they bullied me so much. It's because. They don't understand me so much of it that they've been abusing me so hard that I couldn't even stand I mean, hardly because of this. Because they because I couldn't understand all these words. They say homophobic words. Uh they say homophobic words for me for me. And even even all these all these bad names that they call me that way. And even compliments too, that which I don't even understand. But though that has nothing to do with language or anything, thing, though I understand like a little, like a little uh, uh, Tagalog or anything. But but let's come on. I I know I've been bullied a lot of times. But now to this day, I've been physically abused by my, by my own parents. Like, they call, and even, and even, and they even uh stereotype me, of my posts, like doing, like doing a post that I should not even do that. They think that I'm an arrogant person, and bad, for do, for doing that thing. So, but that has nothing to do with it. While doing a waiting post, but. It's kind of stupid when, when people like her would just had to judge her that way. Like, how would you even think when you, when you're gonna get killed by them? That's impossible. You, so it's, I'm not getting killed because of this. Nor would I ever had to think like this. Like she's being a blunt to herself, as well as my dad, as well as my siblings, that they bluntly criticizing me for who I am. In yeah. And on top of that, my behavior is the reason why they bluntly criticizing me for for a lot of times that they couldn't even have to stand, and they want me to change. No, you can't manage to change them. You just had to adjust them of having like that. It, and yeah. And you see, I've been supporting like human rights in America and things like these, animal rights either. Everything that I've been like supporting to be, because you know, I'm an ah. I want to be like them. I want to be like them because I want. I want to have the have a like a good like. A good world that people would res would res would respect each other, but also not forget religion is also the case for it, for it of of causing the war. But that's not the case, especially. 
But that's not the case until Muhammad Ali says that that Islam is peace for everyone else. But hey, hey, uh, all these terrorists are now Muslims. They're just fighting for no go- for no good reason, and it turned into a an ideology that they're more that they're mostly similar to Nazism, but with Muslims that be taken o- taken over, turning into an Islamic state for everything that it costs. All the beheadings and and stuff, and the war too, and some human trafficking. Well, that's a little bit wrong and bad when people would just had to dignify wrong things. And that's why I, that's why I support human rights. That's why I'm a pacifist. That's why I do good things for people. That the ones they do good things. Even though that I'm not a good person, even though I'm, I don't admit that I'm good. It's, it's just I wanna have to support with other people that are, re, that are, that have, that have like values and respect in everything that they've been like loving so much. Like no war, no punish, no like a little bit punishments with pain or any, anything. But I'm not. But I'm no child abuser to anyone else, especially that they always hurt, that they always hurt their child like that. I've been a victim a lot of times, while my brother and my sister always accept their fate like that. And so now, there's nothing I can have to say anymore, and I'm very speechless about it. But I'm just making a video out of it for everyone to all, for everyone to understand about this situation. And you know, this one is not scripted. I'm not gonna lie. I always make mistakes at at all times. But this one, whoa, this one is coming from my mouth. It's straight coming from my mouth, and I'm serious about it. But that is all for today. I don't want to make things perfect. And I'm already been pissed about it. All because of their doing. And yeah. Tulu. Just goodbye for now. Bye bye.